time for a closer look at what's happening here in, Korea, in and around the Korean Peninsula. Relations with North Korea are off to, not off to a peaceful start in 2023. Following an unprecedented number of missile tests last year, North Korea launched another ballistic missile on New Year's Day. For more on what to expect in terms of inter-Korean relations this year, we have our defense correspondent Pei Eun-ji live in the studio. Welcome, Eun-ji. Good evening. Good evening. So, indeed, we saw North Korea engage in a record number of provocations last year from ICBMs to drones. Is there any chance it could be any different this year? Well, Tang Min, unfortunately, no. Um, many experts on North Korea say that heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula will remain throughout this year, as the regime will not be changing its hardline policy against South Korea and the U.S. The North first set this policy in December 2019, a few months after the Hanoi summit with the U.S. ended in failure. There's no sign that North Korea has changed its policy direction. So I think uh, this year, 2023, North Korea has continued to conduct their nuclear and the missile tests, including some of the nuclear tests. And also they are going to continue to have a provocation. They have done the, for example, like a drone invasion to South Korea in order to escalate tension. Speaking on New Year's Eve, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un called for an exponential increase in his regime's nuclear weapons arsenal, calling South Korea an undoubted enemy. He also ordered the development of a new ICBM, which appears to show the regime's efforts to create one using solid fuel. As for the ICBMs they already have, Kim Jong-un's influential sister, Kim Yo-jong, even hinted at the possibility of test firing its ICBM at a normal launch angle instead of a steep one, which would allow the missile to fly at a normal trajectory. By April, the North plans to complete preparations for its first military reconnaissance satellite. Although it's up to the determination of the North Korean leadership, it's likely that it will speed up its weapons development this year instead of choosing to return to talks. Right, and North Korea appears to be focusing on developing solid fuel ICBM, and it seems like it holds the same for South Korea as well, having su successfully tested a solid fuel space launch vehicle. So why are two Koreas focusing on this type of rocket? Well, North Korea's ICBMs like Hwasong-15 and Hwasong-17 are liquid-fueled missiles. Last month, Kim Jong-un oversaw the test of an engine using solid fuel and said he expects another new type of strategic weapon in the near future. Solid fuel missiles are more stable and can be launched quickly with almost no warning, and they're also easier to transport. Pyongyang has been testing short-range ballistic missiles that use solid fuel, but hasn't been able to develop long-range ones. Unlike liquid fuel, solid fuel missiles do not require a complicated piping and pumping process to feed their engines, allowing them to be launched quickly. Also, because they don't need separate troops to pump fuel, they can enhance the operational effectiveness of the military. South Korea also aims to put a small satellite that weighs about 500 kilograms into a low Earth orbit by 2025, and it said last Friday solid fuel space vehicle test set an important milestone in achieving this goal. So it's pretty clear that both Koreas will continue to work on enhancing military and space power throughout this year. All right, and Undi, there are still concerns on North Korea's nuclear test at any time. Preparations for the test seem all to be ready. That's right. Um, an expert that I talked to said it's important to remember why the North has not conducted the nuclear test yet, despite the obvious readiness and speculation made by outside observers. And the reason he pointed to was China. Uh, Xi Jinping government of China uh, had every reason to uh, keep the uh, political and security situations uh, conducive to the success of the 20th Party Congress. Uh, during which Xi Jinping succeeded in extending uh, his tenure as the absolute leader of China. So uh, emergency situations uh, such as North Korea nuclear tests and uh, responses from the surrounding countries uh, should have been uh, prevented and blocked. North Korea is probably waiting for just the right time when it will be beneficial for them to carry out that test, even at the expenses of sanctions imposed by other countries. But if that happens, there is no doubt that the situation on the Korean Peninsula will become even more serious. All right. We will have to wait and see. Thank you, Inji.